Hey folks, welcome back. I hope this is uh, up your alley. I just decided to do something different today because I've uh, been slowly chipping away at, uh, you know, I've been getting kind of one figure a week um, just so I can slot it into the budget of the uh, Batman movie figures. I only have Catwoman to go. Um, I'm only really going for the main four. So Batman, Penguin, Riddler, Catwoman. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go for the Bruce Wayne yet. I might. Um, you know, there's the Drifter Bruce Wayne, which it doesn't look the best, but, um, you know, some of these figures are really, really cool. And I just absolutely love the movie. Big time. I went in, I've been to see it twice. Um, and I might try and sneak off and see it again uh, before its cinematic run runs out basically um but hopefully it gets a nice quick turnaround for home home video home release but um yeah if you're interested in checking out some individual figure reviews such as batman right here um this one obviously goes hand in hand with the bat cycle so that's what i've got him out but if you'd like a individual review on this one um yeah drop a comment below because i'd like to see who's interested um so yeah obviously mcfarlane has put out two different bat cycles they've done the drifter cycle um, for sort of casual um, Bruce Wayne um, and the Bat Cycle, which is pretty cool. I just I love that logo. I love it so good. So yeah, DC Multiverse Bat Cycle up there. Got the logo on top. Same sort of stuff on the side and on the other side. And on the back we have a picture of the uh, trading card that it comes with. And then the other four figures. So yeah, we've got the Penguin, Catwoman, Riddler, Batman. So yeah, I'm gonna get Catwoman next week. Um, all being well. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a little unboxing and and just sort of get some raw reactions straight out of the box because uh, it's looking pretty awesome. I actually went into the shop. I uh, went into Big W. Um, planning to get Catwoman. I thought, I'll just get Catwoman today and then I'll get the Bat Cycle. But they didn't have Catwoman, but they had plenty of these. So I thought, eh, what's what's the difference? You know, get one this week, get one another week. So uh, I thought I'd pick this one up because it's looking pretty cool. So we're going to just open this one up. Let's have a little bit of a play around. So here we go out of the box. Cut these little ties. Scissors really aren't the greatest, but they'll do. Alright, so that just lifts out. Put that aside for the minute. So we can get the uh, stand out. Which is one of the best things about the McFarlane figures is they give them stands. So obviously this one is just for the wheel to sit in. Um, We'll get the trading card out, and it comes with a extra hand, which, you know, I find that to be really interesting, but uh, here's the card, it's the Bat Cycle, the Batman, looks good, that's cool. I haven't kept all of these, but I've sort of, have sort of tried to make an effort to keep, keep them, some of them have just, you know, some of the early McFarlane stuff I picked up have been thrown out, but uh, yeah, I'm making an effort to sort of keep some of these cards. They're just cool. You know, it's a nice little extra little bonus for your, for your time and effort. <laughs> so, yeah, the extra hand, which, in my opinion, probably should have come with the Batman, um, given that he didn't come with any fists. Um, yeah, I think they definitely should have come with the figures. Uh, I'm not sure what McFarlane's strategy there is. You know, you get by... You can buy a Batman, or you can buy a Batman Unmasked. Um, I think they'd move a lot quicker if you just put the put the extra head in the box and uh, did it that way. So, but that's just my thoughts. All right, so drop that back wheel in the stand there. Beautiful, looks nice. So let's go over this thing. <clears throat> Some nice looking detail. The tires are actually like a nice firm rubber. They're not plastic. They're you know, you can actually take this rubber tires off, so that's cool. You can sort of see the silver on the chain, the sort of silver wear and tear on the edges, sort of 
you know, he's painted it black, but it's seen some, seen some damage. Especially like around here, you've got the sort of silver, you know, sort of heated element there to the exhaust pipes. Nice details on the on the motor there. I don't know all the parts to a bike. I've got no idea. I'm not a, I'm not a motorhead sort of person. I'm not a rev head, so I, I no idea. It, they, their exhaust pipes and that looks like the engine. So that's what I'm going with. So that's cool. The details there on the handlebars as well. See, I know what handlebars are. <laughs> so that's cool. <clears throat> the other side, and that's sort of equal details on each side, which is nice. So I'm hoping he sits on this thing really, really nicely. So we'll, we'll try that in a moment. Well, probably the probably the biggest bummer. Not not that it's a bummer, but the sort of the front of the bike here with the light. Um, this just sort of and feels a little bit plasticky. Um, it hasn't got any of that sort of detail that it has there. Like, I could get a silver sharpie and you know just sort of tickle the edges of that just to sort of show that it has been out in some weather. And you know, same with this the fuel tank there. I know that's a fuel tank because that's a fuel cap. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that looks probably just a little bit plasticky um, in comparison to what they've been able to do with the rest of it, which is actually really nice. So. I'm pretty happy, like even weathering and detail underneath, which is cool. So it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm digging it. I do like the uh, sort of battiness to the to the I don't know whatever it's called fender. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know all the parts to motorbikes, like I said. But yeah, it looks good. Nice details. Let's put it in there. And we're gonna take. Batman's slappy hand. That's for when Chris Rock tells bad jokes. I'm just gonna pop that off and pop on the other hand. Bear with me, folks. Some joints McFarlane do are really loose, some are really tight. They're just not a whole lot of um, con continuity, not continuity, but uh, consistency. Some are really loose, some are really tight, some, you know, but I like that I have an alternate hand now, so that's cool. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just pop off the pop off the camera and see if I can get him to sit on it. We'll be back with him on the bike, hopefully. All right, here he is on the bat cycle, and this looks pretty cool. I could have spent a little bit longer, you know, really perfecting the pose and stuff to get him on there, but. You know, I think this is reasonably good. I sort of foresaw, saw him sort of being a little bit more hunched down, but that works. Um, obviously, if you've got access to a hairdryer, um, you know, just blowing it on that cape to get it to heat up, and you can sit it and sort of drape it down over the back of the bike there. Well, you know, have it flapping in the wind as he's riding along, either way. But yeah, a soft goods cape would look sick, sort of just draped over the back there. Looks awesome. Some great customizers out there doing some awesome capes and accessories for these Batman, or well, this Batman figure particularly, um, which I'm definitely going to uh, eye off picking up. It kind of looks like the way the light's shining in from the from the windows from outside here. Kind of looks like it's uh, shining a that headlight. But yeah, again, that's probably another part that. You know, lacks a little bit. It's just sort of a creamy plastic, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. Holds on nicely. You know, I could spend another five or ten minutes really nailing that articulation to get it looking super good. But yeah, his head articulation means he can sort of look up and forward, which is great. Robert Battenson in the house. I'm digging this one guys, I think this is a cool, cool vehicle, I'm glad I picked it up. Again, love to know what you guys think, you want to see some individual reviews of these figures, because I'd, I'd love to do them, especially in between sort of Star Wars stuff that's coming in at the moment, so yeah, please hit me up, let me know, drop a comment down below, um, I'd be happy to oblige. 
So thanks for coming and hanging out and watching uh, something a little bit different here on, on my channel. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because I'll be back with some more stuff very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. Vengeance!